It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we're going to learn how to set up a scroll grid in Unity. For this, I will demonstrate with Unity version 2022. First, I will open Unity Hub and create a new project. I will choose the Universal 2D template. Once loaded, I'll add a canvas to the hierarchy. This adds both a canvas object and an event system. The event system allows us to touch and interact with objects on the canvas. Let's update the canvas's render mode to screen space overlay camera, and we'll click and drag our main camera into the render camera position. This should fill our view when we start the project. If you want this canvas to be detached from the camera's view, like a menu in a VR game, you might want to change this to world space. Let's right click on the canvas object and add an empty game object. Name this scroll view. In the inspector, let's add a scroll rect component. Then adjust the size and shape to your liking by using the editor's tools. Then let's add a graphic ray caster. If you plan to scroll in virtual reality, you may also want to add the tracked device graphic ray caster, which is found in some VR projects though it is unavailable in the 2D template. The view field represents the visible, scrollable area. We can set this to the scroll view itself by clicking and dragging the scroll view game object to this field. Let's add an image component to display this area. And I will adjust the color. This one looks good. And we will add a mask component too. This will make sure that content should not be visible if the content is outside the boundaries of the scroll view. I'll quickly show this by creating a child image. And we can see that the mask makes it so only the portion inside the scroll view is visible. Now let's create a new empty object as a child of the scroll view object. I will name this grid view, then add a content size filler. This component restricts the grid's height and width of the size of the component within it. This way you don't end up with an empty grid that still allows for scrolling. If you plan to scroll vertically, set the vertical fit to min size. A similar process would be required for a horizontal fit. Let's open the anchor position menu for the grid view and hold down alt to alter the position of the object. This demonstration will focus on a vertical scroll. For this, we should select the top right stretch option. If you want to horizontally scroll, you may want to select the bottom left stretch option. For the top left, we will also need to adjust the pivot fields to be 0.5 and 1 Y. Then add a grid layout group component. To see the grid layout in effect, we need to add some items to the grid. Create a new image as a child of the grid view. We should see it appear in the top left. For some reason, the Unity editor may place the object slightly outside of the grid view. If we play the game or reset any of the child object's fields, we should see it adjust to the correct position. Let's copy and paste to create a few of these objects. It's a bit hard to tell where one image starts and another ends. To fix this, let's go back to the grid layout component and look at those settings. Start by adjusting the X and Y cell size. This is how big each grid item can be. Then adjust the X and Y spacing. And to move them further away from the edges, we can open the padding dropdown and adjust there. We can also adjust the size of the cells from here. Let's increase the size until the cells overflow from the page. Great. Now we have some content to scroll through. Back in our scroll view object, let's click and drag our grid view into the scroll rect components content field. If this moves your grid view, you may need to adjust its pivot values. And now we should be ready to go. Let's press play. And look at that. Together, we have set up a scrollable grid in Unity. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.